War isn't supposed to make sense. Nobody really understands why the fighting begins, or why it eventually ends. But this war, it took everything we thought we knew and turned it upside down. It turned out that the bugs weren't native to Pluto, and it turned out this wasn't some simple infestation that could be exterminated easily. Suddenly, war was a whole new game. Sycon's first move was to send the Valley Forge and nine other starships on a high-priority mission. Find the transport bug last sighted near Pluto and track it. See if this thing was headed back to the bug's home planet, or beelining for some kind of Grand Central bug station. Completing motion detection sweep. Target search, negative. Excuse me, Commander. I think one of my men has something. What is it, Corporal? Intel's coordinates may be, uh, wrong. As far as I can tell, gravitational coefficients weren't used in the tracking equations. If you don't mind, sir. See, Commander? No trace of remedial gravitational residue. Something the size of that transport bug should trigger changes in the gravitational pull of any planet it passes. Kind of like a small moon. But there's nothing in this neighborhood for five cubic light years. Based on the grav residue theory, Corporal Gossard has recalculated the coordinates. Where is the bug headed according to your computations? Constellation Virgo. Psycon classification. Hydora. 91% water. Hey, the other 9 oceanfront property. Want to go in on a place? Atmosphere. 25% oxygen, 75% saturated hydrogen. Breathe it longer than three minutes, you drown. Maybe we should check out Miami instead. Our mission is strictly surveillance. Observe the transport bug to ascertain if Hydora is the enemy's home planet. Questions? Suit up. We drop at 0300. Listen up, apes. Gossip. In case any of you greenies forgot, let me remind you. Power suits do not float. Get in over your head. You got two choices. One, sink to the bottom. If the water's too deep, the pressure could crack your suit. Which brings us to two, my personal favorite. Pull the life vest release on your left shoulder, float, and wait for pickup. Two works for me. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are go for drop. Do not feel free to walk around the cabin. Beverages will not be served. Initializing activation of release locks. Release lock engage. Release lock two. Now function. Release lock. Primary hydraulic failure. Control, this is Big Dog. We have a malfunction on rear release lock two, rebooting sequence. Release lock two, not responding. What's going on? 
We're stuck to the Valley Forge. The lock must be jammed or something. Ignition override. Shut down sequence non-responsive to override. Mayday, this is Big Dog. Mayday. Mayday? Shouldn't we evacuate or something? Too late. Once the ignition sequence begins, the exterior hatchway is sealed until afterburn. LT, those thrusters fire and we're still sitting here. We're burnt toast. Abort ignition sequence. Doc, give me a hand. Automatic ignition abort sequence. Failure. Rico, Flores, stay buckled and stay put. Override still non-responsive. 15 seconds to ignition. Thrusters are gonna fry you! Grab my legs! Grab my legs! Closer! Mission board. 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 Lieutenant, are you okay? Wow. Really? Nicely done, apes. Make that overdone. Chill, man. It's just surveillance. We're in, we're out. I can't swim. Huh. On a planet that's mostly water, that wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Except for the fact that you're inside a power suit. You fall in, just use the life vest. Simple. Bruto with me. Jet skis will approach from the opposite side of the island. Move out. Is it dead? I'm picking up something. Make that some things. up. Say again, over. Atmosphere on this rock is pretty saturated. Could be interfering with radio transmissions. We'll track the new bugs. You move in for closer observation of transport bug. Copy that, sir. I think. <laughs> Let's get up close and personal.
glad to be inside a bug. This is Private Rico. We have an emergency. Do you copy? Over. We're not getting out the way we came in. It was an accident. This jailbreak isn't gonna be easy. Check out the exoskeleton. Didn't even make a dent. So, it was on point. <sighs> what is it? Carl, what happened? I don't know. I started picking up something. Jumbled. Maybe I'll take point. Be my guest. Come on.
It's thinner than the Exo. But there's no way through without firing. After you. I'm thinking those eggs I scarfed this morning were a big mistake. Those some kind of bladders? Looks like it. They're filling up with something. From all the seepage, I'm guessing water. Oh, what, what's the big deal? Filling up? As in refueling? You mean this thing is getting ready to take off? With us inside? Come on. Melty! Show's over! No time for an encore. Let's move! Exactly a clearly marked exit, but it'll do. What are you talking about? Well, with any luck and a big enough blast, we'll be shot out of this thing like cannonballs. We're getting out of here th through its. Uh, through there? You guys go. I'll set the charges. Sailor? I'm tapped. Try the radio again. Bruno, do you read? Does anybody read? that Hydora is the bug's home planet. It appeared the transport stopped to offload enemy troops and refuel. Nothing further to report. Alpha team out. There is one more thing, Lieutenant. When we were inside the transport, I received a message from the bugs. I thought it was jumbled. I don't know where it came from, but it was strong. The sender wanted me to deliver it. And? The bugs want us to know that they won't stop until the entire human race is exterminated. Duh! Basically, the reason for this war wasn't territory or natural resources. Total annihilation of the species. That's what the bugs had planned for us. And when word got back to Psycon, that's what we now planned for them. When troopers first arrived on the water planet, Psycon was optimistic, believing we had successfully mounted an overwhelming offensive against the small, underdeveloped bug base. Shoreline is 
Missile! Rear flank! But after a month, the combat we were seeing in Hydora made Pluto look like a dress rehearsal. Casualties were heavy. The fleet had retrieval ships running around the clock. Eagle 2, this is Eagle 1. Do you copy? Over. Uh, copy that, Eagle 1, over. Be advised. Heavy enemy activity reported in airspace above all sectors. <laughs> That's as good as it gets. Eagle 2, this is Eagle 1. Dust off coordinates have been changed. Turn on Vector 7, mark. Engine status? It's all systems 100% operational. Where'd they come from? Eagle one, Eagle one. Eagle one coming. Read you, Eagle two. Starboard engine out. Returning to Valley Forge immediately. Good luck. Hope you didn't have a big lunch. Recompute distance and bearing to the LZ. for another cat. Lieutenant Ibanez, but this is all that's left of three MI squads. Be advised. Airspace. All sectors closed. Sir! Aerial attack! Uh, this is Zebra Squad, requesting emergency cover fire from any available unit. Over. This is Zebra Squad, Northwest Center Niner, requesting emergency cover fire from any available unit. Over. Zebra, this is Alpha Team. Transmission is breaking up. Trace the signal. Vector 7, bearing 217. Gossard, change of plans. Intercept.
be west of here half a click. Alpha team to Zebra squad. Come in, Zebra. Over. No go, LT. Saturated atmosphere is wiping out the comm links. Keep trying. Move it out! Team to three, along the base of the cliffs, into the cave! Alpha team, we picked up your call. Bernstein, Zebra Squad. Appreciate the assist. Bugs were squeezing us pretty good. Lieutenant Ibanez, decide to give up fleet for the simple life of a trooper, huh? Not exactly, Lieutenant. Just got caught here waiting for a ride. From what I hear, we're all gonna be waiting for a while. Hey, Carmen. Rico. Hey. How are you? Good. <laughs> um, yeah. Good. Good, I guess. I'm, well, I'm kind of surprised to see you. Long story. Unbelievable. No matter where I go, there's Fly Girl in my face. You know, Diz, you might actually like Carmen if you got to know her. Ugh. Or not. Priority call on the SATCOM. Commander Marlowe for Lieutenant Ibanez. Flores, Jenkins, when do you find Lieutenant Ibanez? Tell her fleet's on the horn. All over it, LT. The LT turns to me and says, Rico, you gotta take that bug down. So I grab this grenade and I'm Lieutenant, telling you, I just... Priority call from fleet? Guess I'll talk to you later? Yeah, sure. I'm sorry. Did I um, interrupt something? This is Lieutenant Ibanez. Ibanez, you've committed a major violation of Fleet Conduct Code. A pilot never abandons her ship. Commander Marlowe, there were wounded men who required immediate... Save it for the disciplinary hearing. Until retrieval, you're to stay with Alpha Team under the command of Lieutenant Razak. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Marlowe, out. Troopers, fall in. Listen up, apes! HQ reports a new strain of airborne bug is preventing reinforcements from reaching Hydora. Nothing's coming in, nothing's going out. Intel thinks the swarm's originating from subterranean caverns, like this one, all over the planet. Our POA is to clear the underground hideouts in this sector. Either exterminate the bugs, or drive them upstairs, where MI sniper teams will be waiting to clip their wings. Lieutenant Razak and I will divide you into smaller teams. Back here at 1800 hours. She's not looking.
going over! Cover me! Rico, are you insane? Still in one piece? Yeah. Then let's move. This hunt ain't over till the fat ladybug screams. Jenkins, talk to me. Down. Northeast sector, cleared. Over. Northwest sector, cleared. Over. Copy that. Report immediately to surface and assist with enemy eradication. Blue leader out. We have two skimmers stashed in a cove east of here. You and your men can take one of them. Appreciate it, Lieutenant. Lock and load, apes. We're going up top. She was impressed. What exactly did she say? It's not what she said. It's, it's the way she looked at me. So she didn't say anything? No. Does the word? Pathetic mean anything to you? How about showboat? That ring a bell? Diz, I was trying to get a better shot. Spare me. I know exactly what you were trying to do, and I guarantee you it didn't work. See, Rico? When some girls want you to know how they feel, they just come right out and tell you. something I'm actually trained for. You got it, sir. Ma'am.
inside. Should have known that overblown ego of yours wouldn't sink. Lieutenant Ibanez, I'm recommending you receive a commendation. I appreciate that, Lieutenant Bernstein. And if Marlowe thinks he's going through with that disciplinary hearing... Hey, Carmen. How are you feeling? A little bruised from your body block, but other than that, I'm fine. By the way, thanks. No problem. Listen, maybe we could get together sometime back on the Valley Forge? Sure. It's a pretty small ship. I'm sure I'll see you around. Hey, Carmen! Uh, listen, uh, I just wanted to say you handle yourself pretty good back there for a fly girl. Hey, uh, what do you think they're talking about? Not you. Why not? Carmen had to love my moves. You mean the move when you went overboard? <laughs> 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 Desk jockeys at Intel eventually classified the new strain of bug as kamikaze ripplers, as if naming something makes it easier to overcome. The bug army was growing more aggressive, and the chance that we'd all make it home in one piece was seeming less and less likely. Behind enemy lines. Three words no trooper wants to hear. But the Roughnecks were getting kind of used to the sound of it. First on Pluto, now on Hydora. See, that's the trouble with being good at your job. When the going gets tough, the tough do all the heavy lifting. Approaching the sign quadrant, LT. We were now fighting a new, more lethal kind of Rippler. Its barbs carried a corrosive venom, and each day the swarm's population increased. Intel had determined that we were outnumbered 75 to 1. Now we are going on an egg hunt. Rear flank! Fire at will! Finally! Glad this makes your day, Bob. Bruno, Doc! Plasma rockets! Starboard side! have been getting more intense. Could mean we're close to the nest. Let's get more mobile. Stay off the comm links unless it's urgent. We clear? Rendezvous here at 1600 hours. Higgins, first sign of attack, that camera goes down and your weapon comes up. What's his deal? Power trip. First class. Right side, Sarge. When I want a crystal ball, Jenkins, I'll call for a gypsy. We go right. Sarge, something's coming. We're in 
enemies on the fritz, brain boy. Maybe not. My audio meter, it's picking up something. What? That! silence and call Razak. Is the kid critical? Not yet, but his condition's unstable. The LD should be a negative. We proceed as ordered. Are you out of your stinking mind? Be okay, Rico. Sarge is just doing his job.
can we not have an engine? Think of something nice to say. Gossard noticed increased sonar activity in the area. <sighs> Serious? Stabilized, but weak. Sergeant, why wasn't I called? It wasn't urgent, sir. Not urgent? Doc specifically told you Back that- Back off, Rico. Table it, both of you! Sir, Rippler eggs. Sunny side up. I was just in there with those. Looks like Mama Rippler's been very busy. Gossard, run a thermal scan. See how many of these grade A's we're dealing with. Lieutenant? Gossard? Millions of them. We're right in the middle of the nest. Elevated and triangulated positions. Bruto, Rico, right side. Dizzy, left side. Doc, Gossard, with me at surface level.
you think this means I'm gonna kiss your feet? LT, I don't think we can pick these eggs off one by one. There's too many of them. And there's no telling how many more angry parents are headed our way. Bugs want a population explosion? Let's give it to them. Lieutenant? Gossip. Take all the plasma charges we got and rig a synchronized timer. Hey, sir, I'm sure you're aware that a blast that size inside a confined space... We'll have a head start, and setting the charges underwater should diffuse the impact of the shock waves. Lieutenant, what if it doesn't? Then you'll be remembered as a war hero. is ticking. Roughnecks, let's blow this popsicle stand. Gossard, start the countdown. complete. Rippler Nest in Quadrant Bravo Niner has been eliminated. Activating Retrieval Beacon now. Alpha Team out. Rico? Bruto? You two wanna pick up our conversation regarding Private Jenkins? That won't be necessary, sir. Sergeant Bruto called it the way he saw it. I see. Between you and me, sometimes Sergeant Bruto needs his eyes examined. Taking out that Rippler nest gave Psycon forces the upper hand on Hydora, for a while. But the war was kind of like finding ants at a picnic. No matter how many you get rid of, even more keep showing up. In this numbers game, we always seem to end up on the wrong side of the equation. Roughnecks were wrapping up ten straight days of brutal combat duty. Exhaustion was setting in. Tempers were growing short. Hey, paper boy! I told you not to point that thing at me! Face it, Sarge. Celebrity's the price you pay for being so darn good looking. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh it up. But if that lens is in my face one more time, your camera's gonna get a real nice close up of your lower intestine. Rico, Bruno, Higgins. Zip it. What's with him?
Fortunately, Sycon agreed to give the squad 24 hours of R&R &R aboard the Valley Forge. Just enough time to remind you of all the stuff you'd been missing. Make you miss it even more. Hey, who's ready to party? Pass. Count me out. Ditto. Please, like you've all got something better to do? Hot shower. Sleep. Food. Big time. Hey, I'm ready to party, Diz. On the other hand... Kidding, Bobby! Let's rock! Go easy on him, Diz. He's just a kid. just happened? No idea. Maintain high alert. Hit the beach and activate the beacon. Defensive positions. Echo one to blue leader. Come in, blue leader. Over. Echo one, leader. Hold your positions. Echo One, this is Blue Leader. Go ahead. Need immediate retrieval from Sector Zulu, Delta Six. Swarm of Ripplers just chased us in a dead end. Ammo reserves are tapped. Beacon operational. Request dust off ASAP. Over. Evac's already on the way. Tango Squad's beacon was activated in your exact grid location 15 minutes ago. There's no other MI unit in the area. We'll investigate. Prepare for evac in 10. Blue leader out. Evac's on the way. Johnson, take Perez and look for him. Johnson, Mendez, Lewis! What's going on? Echo 1 to blue leader. Mayday, Mayday, this is an emergency. Over. Read you, Echo 1. What's your status? The entire squad. They're... Hey, LT, what's up? Not your performance rating. I don't know what the problem is with you apes, but the sloppy performance and tactical errors I witnessed over the past 10 days were an embarrassment. Therefore, whatever plans you had for this r, &R forget them. Instead, you will undergo sim training at the VR Center on Deck 17. Two-man teams. Those who don't pass will repeat the exercise until they do. You get me? Sir, we get you, sir! First round at 0900 hours. Should have seen that coming. Big deal. LT wants to bust our chops a little, let him. We'll just drop in there and shine like 24 karat gold. Listen to this. Promise me something. What? Rico, just try to act normal, all right? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It, it, it's just... You take unnecessary risks. I got news for you, pal. Anybody needs a refresher course in combat, it's you. Attention, Alpha Team. Report immediately to Emergency Briefing Room, Deck 26. Priority one. So much for sim training. Looks like we're getting the real thing. As of 0300 hours, two veteran MI units disappeared in Sector Zulu, Delta 6. You accuse me of taking risks? That's a laugh. What are you talking about? That time in the cave when you were trying to impress Carmen? Get serious. I was doing my job. Oh, please. Do I look like an idiot? You said it, not me. Am I interrupting you two? Yes! yes. No, no, no. No, sir. No, sir. Sorry, sir. Our POA is search and rescue. We'll start at the site of last radio contact Jerk. with H. Psycho. Some pretty strong electromagnetic waves. Over there. Check it out.
Says Norris, Echo Squad CO. Head left. Skimmer, sir. Bruto, Gossard, taken up close. Everyone else, hit the beach. Lieutenant, something's following us. Burning. Take it easy, pal. Got you covered. LT, does he got grabbed? Flores! What happened? She took off on her own. I, I should have stopped her. Save yourself the guilt trip, Private. It's not gonna help us find Flores. Show Jenkins where you last saw her. See if you can pick up something. Pluto, go with. Bad odds, Lieutenant. You sure? What's his condition? Minor paralysis. Probably caused by some kind of toxin. I gave him an anti-venom shot. Should be up and running in ten minutes, give or take. Keep me posted. Higgins, with me. Dizzy and the others. Alive? Based on the level of brain activity I'm reading. Just barely. Which way? <laughs> Tunnel's too narrow for the vehicles. We're on foot. Maybe you should stay put. I'm fine. Hmm. Really, LT. Good to go. Can't see a thing.
your step. In there. You gotta be kidding me. What are we waiting for? We're talking about Dizzy. Lassie better be right this time. What's your step? The path's getting kind of slick. the electrical charge. How come we didn't feel it? Power suits are insulated. High alert, apes. Rico, on point. Looks like wax. We're inside their hive. Dizzy's here. The anti-venom. Lieutenant Razak, Alpha Team. My men? Alive and accounted for. Same goes for Tango Squad. LT, Doc says everybody's stable enough to move, which I think we ought to do before those bugs come back looking for dinner. Man, my head feels like it weighs a ton. Lean on me. I'll take care of you. <laughs> Sounds like our pals found out we raided the fridge. Let's pick up the pace, apes! Go! Shock sticks at the ready! Activate shock sticks now! Healthy, something's wrong! Shock sticks weren't made for continuous use. They must be shorting out. Thermal grenades! All troopers, 
In three minutes, we're closing this party down permanently. Hot kicking. Forge, you should take it easy. So, you know, I'll pick up your meals and stuff. Rico, when we get back to the Valley Forge, do me one big favor. A absolutely. Go back to being a jerk. I like you better that way. Don't say a word. What? Psycon gave the Roughnecks two more days of R&R &R for rescuing those MIAs. Unfortunately, Lieutenant Razak saw this as the perfect opportunity for more training time. After four months in Hydora, there was one thing every roughneck agreed upon. If we never, ever saw a beach again, it would be too soon. Squad of 12 stationed aboard the Gettysburg went MIA 10 days ago while on routine recon in Sector Niner Zulu. That's at least 75 clicks from where we found them. Commander, physically the lieutenant's injuries are minor, but psychologically, Lieutenant Ross appears to be suffering from a severe case of post-traumatic stress syndrome. His long-term memory is completely wiped out. Doctor, 12 men are missing. 
We could use some kind of explanation. I'm afraid that's just not an option at this time. You gonna eat that or just beat it into submission? Oh, I I'm not hungry. Carl, I've known you since we were five. You're a garbage disposal with legs. What gives? That lieutenant, they're gonna want me to figure out what happened. So? You do that psychic act of yours all the time. This is a bigger deal. Going inside somebody's head, searching for trapped memories. What if he doesn't want to remember? He won't have a choice. <laughs> yeah, well, if something ever happens to me, just remember the sign hanging on my brain. No trespassing. Are you sure that sign doesn't say no occupancy? There's something else, isn't there? I'm afraid that if I go too deep, I might not be able to get out. Jenkins, LT wants you in sick bay. <sighs> Just try to relax. Everything will be fine. Delta Squad, drop in two. Caves. That's all I'm seeing. After Delta reaches the DZ, nothing. There's some kind of block. Can you push through it? It's possible, but... With all due respect, sir, pushing too hard could cause permanent damage. Understood, Private. Proceed. Jenkins, if my squad was missing, I'd want any means taken to find them. Any means. Troopers! Grab your gear and start making like Sherlock's. We have a mystery to solve. No movement on the sonar. Delta Squad made its last radio contact right before heading into that cave. We're not taking any chances. High alert. Weapons at the ready. fixed and dilated, heartbeat irregular. This one's not much better. <sighs> this is Alpha Team. Sector 16, Bravo Tango is secure. That gives me a good idea what happened to those guys in Delta. I have a feeling the warriors are just the tip of the iceberg. 
I'm fine. I, I just need a break. Get yourself something to eat, Jenkins. For the record, Commander, you are jeopardizing both their lives. I know. We have a lot of ground to cover. Rico, Gossard, Flores, far right tunnel. Keep your guard up and stay on the complex. Back here in 30. Bruto, Doc, Higgins, with me. You're not going anywhere. Alpha Team is not responding, Commander. Keep trying. Commander, if I don't get down to that planet now, Psycon's gonna lose another squad. My squad.
seconds. What are you thinking? Sir, it's talking to me inside my head. Let me listen. Yes, I received the message you sent me earlier. But I thought it would be more polite to respond in person. What? You think we're just gonna hand over the universe to scum like you? Back off! He's mine! No! That's never going to happen! No! Rico! I heard you the first time, Private. How's he doing, Doc? According to him, or me? Private Jenkins is a bit weak, but he's intact. Lieutenant Ross, the doctors who will be handling your case on Earth have been briefed. I hope your recovery is swift. Thank you, Doctor. Private, take care of yourself. Thanks, Lieutenant. You too. Which came back to him. Not enough. Intel will be here to debrief you at 1500 hours. You're a celebrity. When you blow up a brain bug, everybody wants an interview. I'll be back to check on you later, Carl. Try to rest. Guess you're gonna be leading the parade back home. Hey, with that brain bug and gone, beating the bug should be a total piece of cake. That brain bug wasn't an only child. That's the message it sent me. It wanted me to know. The brain bugs are everywhere, controlling planets all over the galaxy, and they're not going to stop until they've achieved total domination. We'll check back tomorrow, Jenkins. Rico, Flores. Yeah, be there in a minute, LT. Carl, that thing was going to drill inside my brain, right? In the tunnel, right before we got grabbed. You were trying to warn me, weren't you? I know you're not a big fan of what I can do, but it was an emergency. Agreed. Though sometimes you scare me. Sometimes I scare me too. <laughs> <laughs> 